Today we're going to be talking about the MTW, but we're going to be doing something kind of spicy to it. And the spicy thing is, we're taking out the premium FCU, the premium trigger board, and we're going to swap it in for Gorilla. This is Gorilla. They developed some really cool stuff for the MTW. But, as you know, throughout the time, Gorilla has done a lot of different things. This is a test of a magnetic trigger board, for example. Hmm, what is that? This is a first gen FCU. Very old, very cool, very nice. Then we have the very, very first, if the first trigger board Gorilla ever released. It's kind of important the story. And the first, this is the first trigger board will renew. This was the Gen 1 that came in the before Billiard and Tactical and Forge and all that stuff was a thing. This was the first, first, first thing. Well, today, all of the stuff that Gorilla has learned, they're turning into something really cool. What is it, you'd say? Well, look at this. This is the new fancy smancy thing by Gorilla. It's for the MCW. It is a magnetic trigger board. And you're like, why is a magnetic trigger board good? And what does it do and how is it magnetic? Well, this little magnets are going to be in the selector switch, which is actually kind of nice. It's going to do some really fancy stuff. So you're like, why, why would I want a magnetic trigger board? What is it good for? Well, let me show you real quick. Some people really like the clicky feeling. I'm actually a huge fan of the normal trigger board. I like the clicky feeling, but if you want to have maximum trigger efficiency and the fastest, like the speedy boys, the most speedy boy thing trigger, you get rid of this, the little clicky thing here. Right now it's capped at how fast you can do it because of the reset timer. The reset timer, doesn't. it doesn't matter how fast you actually are with this because it always has to reset the travel time. Boop, reset, reset, reset. It always, always has to get all the way out before it's reset. And when you are getting rid of the reset, you can just sling magnets in front and be very fast and go wild and berserk. So now I'm going to teach you guys how to install the new Gorilla MTW MFCU by Gorilla. And um, obviously I'm sponsored by Gorilla, but I really love this product and I really believe in it. As you can see, they've come a long way. There's no need of SCU for this actually. Finally, finally we can just use this and not all the other stuff. Well, as you can see, we have the forged MTW here. It doesn't matter if it's the forged, it doesn't matter if the billet, the new trigger board is gonna fit in all of them. Here it is. And just so you guys know, this is kind of advanced. It's kind of advanced to set it up. So I expect that you guys already know how to take out the stock trigger board and the trigger. When we are going to swap to the magnetic trigger board, we are gonna put this contraction of the trigger, it's pretty easy to get on. You take out the normal screw on the trigger. I'm using a max trigger in this. Honestly guys, the speed trigger by Wolverine, the speed trigger by Max, they all do the same. So stop saying one is better than the other. It's just reskins, they do the same stuff. If you like the max trigger, use it. If you like the trigger by Wolverine, speed trigger, use it. it doesn't matter which look do you like the most, use that. Anyways, then we get this little 3D printed part. We put this on and this is to tighten it on. It's kind of important that you do it correctly. The right way is this way. So, it's lopsided. <laughs> Screw it on. There we go. A little bit with finger. Then we need the spring. Now, because Wolverine is really smart and they made a way, so Gorilla also know that now we don't need to take out all the pins and we can install the trigger first. So the trigger board is really easy to get in. So let's install the trigger first. It's kind of easy. We take the trigger, put inside the gun, take a trigger pin, you're like, how does it, how is it supposed to be? Well, the right way, we take, I always take it from this side. Let's see here, there we go. The pin is in. Now we want to tighten it. Actually, I know this one from Vortex Fit, so we're going to use that. We tighten it up. The 3D pin apart can actually move a little bit. So don't tighten it too hard because if you tighten the, if you tighten this part too much, you will get sticky trigger syndrome. That's something I found out. Don't like that. There we go. I have done so my trigger is very little movement. Very tiny movement. Um, this is on a DMR, which is kind of disgusting, but uh, hey, let's do it. 
So now we install the trigger board. Installing the trigger board in the MTW is actually quite easy. Take the trigger board. I'm not even looking down my MTW now. Maybe I should. You take the trigger board. You can see down here the selector switch. If I was you, I would put it this way. So it's on auto. Then there's more space. There you go. And now, so you don't break the clips in front, the small the small clips here, I press down this thing, the ball catch, press it in. Then we put a the thing in. There we go. Now we have a spring in the way. Let's get the spring out of the way. Don't break anything. There we go. Now we just need to get the spring down. This is always kind of hard. Wolverine is going to see this and they're going to cry. There we go. Trigger spring in. I hope you guys can see what's going on in here. We need to do something kind of important because right now this doesn't work. This cannot shoot at all. First you put it in semi. Then you get a 3D printed part, which is made out of some soft plastic something something. I don't know what it's called, but it's very, it's like, it's very sturdy. I don't know how many they're gonna send you guys, but I've broken a ton of these. And each time they've changed the material to something better, something uh, stupid proof like me. And when you put it in, it's important you see the magnets, they need to be against the body. So not this way, but this way against the trigger board. So you see the you see the you see the shape here. It's very important it lines up with the selector. So let's put it the right way like this towards the trigger board. Let's see here the flat side. So we're gonna push it down like this. There we go. Click. It literally just clicks straight in. Now when you see. It follows around. I hope you can see. Now it knows with the magnets where it is. This is how much trigger I have. This is it's a very different feeling that you need to get used to because now it doesn't have a switch. Some people like the tactile feeling, but there's no tactile feeling with this at all. It's just so very nice. Let's uh, install it into the MTW. Make sure you don't snap or break anything here. MTW, this is a toy. It is not real. Let's uh, install this here now, the battery. Shoot. So let's check. Yeah, I am really bad at uh, favoring my trigger. But ideally... Ah! You can do it as fast as you want. Now we have the Gorilla trigger board installed. And I'm going to make it a second part where I show how to set it up. It's very easy actually to set this new trigger board up. It's like the old one. So but yeah, I really like it. It's very cool. Like it's it's very fancy. Like this takes absolutely no battery. Like I left in the battery while testing it for two months and it was fine. <laughs> um, everything works. But yeah, it obviously has all the binary. It has, it has all the fancy stuff. So yeah, I like it. Anyways, that's how you install the new Gorilla MC MFCU. If you want to see how to set it up, um, I'm going to make a video just with this. Um, since it's... You know, it can bring some problems to some people, so I think the best way is just to make a video and show everybody how to do it, since it's pretty cool. Anyways, I love it. It's very nice. Boop, 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 boop. Barely nothing. I love it. Let's see. Oops, let's see. Anyways, remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment. This is not released yet, so <laughs> you cannot get it yet. <laughs> Unlucky, but um, I will keep you guys updated because it's going to be in this now. It's going to live in my SPR for the future. Or as uh, everyone in the Wolverine group is saying, this is definitely a DMR. Anyway, nice DMR, great success. Magnetic trigger board because we definitely need a binary at 2.8 joules. <laughs> great success. Very nice.